Hey, what's up guys? Dave here from CNC 3D. So today we're going to be doing a handy CNC tech tip on how you can cut some parts out of a piece of material without using any tabs and without using a vacuum table. We're going to be using some basic materials here today. So we've got some tape here and some super glue and our piece of acrylic. And what we've done is we've put an MDF board down on the bottom here to have a nice flat surface to adhere to. Even though we have our T-tracks underneath here, this should just keep it nice and flat. So let's just go ahead and get started with this. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our tape here. And we're gonna make sure that our tape strips are slightly longer than the actual job piece itself. So let's just measure that out here. And let's just tear this off now and we can adhere this down onto our MDF sheet on the bottom. Do it as flat as you can. This always makes it nice and easy and gives a nice level surface for the job to stick. Now let's just go and do the other piece as well. And we're gonna lay down three pieces of this today. It should make things a lot easier for us. Okay. That is looking pretty good. And we'll do a third piece now as well. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead, we're just gonna finish this off. And let's just go ahead now and we're going to grab our super glue and we are going to stick some tape on the top here. We're basically gonna make a double-sided tape across the top of the existing tape. So first thing that we'll do is we're going to grab some super glue and we're gonna run a nice little bead of super glue all the way down here. You can use as much as you need to. You don't have to add too much. And then we're just gonna grab our tape here now and make this piece about the same size as the other piece. And we're just gonna stick this one so that the sticky side is facing upwards. So very carefully layer this on top here. And just lightly press that down. This can be a bit fiddly, just take your time with it to get it right, make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for our second strip here. Okay, so we'll just tear this off. Whoops. All right, and we'll get this about the same size here and let's just go and stick this one down as well. It can be a little bit tricky to get your fingers off here. Sometimes it sticks down. Okay, perfect. That's looking pretty good. And let's go ahead and do our third piece now. And we'll make sure once again that it's about the same size as the previous piece. And so we'll lay that down here, sticky side up. Alrighty, so that is looking pretty good now. So once this is nice and smooth on here, what we're gonna do is we are just gonna go ahead and we're gonna place our acrylic right in the middle on top of these three strips of tape. And then just press this down nice and firmly with your hands, just to make sure that we definitely compress those layers of tape together and we have a nice good seal on that tape with good adhesion. 
Perfect, now all we're gonna do is just wait five minutes and then we're gonna come back and we are going to cut a job out on here. Okay, so we've just gone ahead and waited five minutes here for this to dry nicely. So let's just go ahead and set up our machine so that we are in the zero position. Now when you're choosing to set your zero position for this kind of a job where we are using the tape and glue method for holding it, we're cutting out some small parts here today. So we wanna make sure that we have as much of the small parts on the surface of the tape as possible just to maximize our adhesion. So we're gonna specifically position our our, our actual spindle so that we can maximize that area on that tape. Once we're in our zero position, we're just gonna go ahead and cut this job. So let's give that a go now. Okay, perfect. So our job's just completed. Let's just jog our machine out of the way and quickly vacuum up all of the schwarf here and let's have a look at how to remove these parts now. Okay, so now we're gonna take our little screwdriver here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lever into one of these little corners gently and just very carefully pop out these parts here. So that one's done. Let's just pop this one out. This one was already a bit loose. And the next one, just be careful not to damage the parts when you remove them. Just a little bit of pressure should be needed. And there we go, guys. We've just gone ahead and we've removed these beautiful plastic parts. Now, let's just go and have a closer look at this one. We'll just remove the outer protective coating on this acrylic. One side is glossy on this acrylic. The other side is a nice matte finish. That's what we were going for with these, with these parts. Just fiddling here a little bit to get this last bit of the backing paper off. Okay. And there you go, guys. A beautiful part has come out here with no tabs on it. So that part is now ready to go into our assembly and we don't have to do any post-processing or cleanup. Thank you very much guys for watching this video today. We really hope it's been helpful for some of you for looking at cutting parts out of acrylic or aluminium and you don't wanna to have to use any tabs to clean up. This method is really simple and relatively inexpensive. Thank you for following us. Have a great day.